Hello, Colbrats, and welcome back to Pokemon Omega Ruby. I'm Triclet Tamer. Last time, we defeated Team Magma in their hideout by Little Ghost City, and we've also taken on another Pokemon contest with Daenerys Targaryen. Pokemon Plus is waterproof. I have a terrible sense of direction, so the area and Nav app is a must have for me. Thanks to it, I can swim away in any direction from Mossy City and come home safely. Yeah, that's nice. I might as well switch to the area and Nav down below and see what's going on. I could probably zoom in a little bit, but no, it's just gonna pull up the map for me. So that's a waste of a couple seconds right there. But as for now, let's just battle a girl. If you just float in the sea like this, Pokemon come around to play. Ginny. Oh, lost at sea. Hey, that's ironic because Forrest Gump and he named the boat after Ginny and stuff. And okay, we got these dark patches of water. And you already know that we have the HM dive with uh, Daenerys, but we did not yet have the ability to dive underwater. So that's going to have to wait until later. And uh, just so you know, from that glance at the route map down there we have a lot of surfing from this point on in the game so let's get ready for it hmm if you're riding a pokemon instead of swimming yourself i'm so jealous that's what i thought Roland. oh it's no use take this uh yeah there's so much of that in the youtube community i don't think there's any hidden items on this route 124 here musket city is that way Lodico city is that way uh, let me just take a look at my item list, uh, so you probably hear my voice going a little bit farther away as I go a little bit more. Okay, doesn't show any hidden items, it shows, uh, shards, wh which we need die for, and speaking of shards, this house right here, let's go and talk to this guy, that girl out there probably explains it, but let's talk to the swimmer dude. I'm the treasure hunter, I'm the awesome dude who goes deep sea diving to gather treasures at the right at the bottom of the sea, don't have any treasures. Yeah, if you come for shards, he'll give you a respective evolutionary stone for it. So be on the lookout for those, they'll more often be underwater when we have the ability to do that, and, well, anything to do with dive, so be wary of that. Hey, do you know what? Do you know what? I don't know what. Let me explain the Andrazian Surface Sharpedo. It'll go zooming so fast and make you feel so great. So that's nice. <laughs> yes, I do agree with the fact that Sharpedo is awesome when you go super quickly surfing. <laughs> I should probably just grab a Sharpedo so we can just make things go faster, but going with Bill Cosby is fast enough. Of course, we also have a lot of swimming trainers. I'm getting tired of swimming, how about a battle? I had no idea that you were this strong. Well, I've been graced with this power. So that's her name. You there, swimmer. Foo foo foo, I dive deep underwater to go deep undercover. Let me the death is where I excel. Chad, you can't dive deep. Plenty of trainers, might not have even fought them all, but let's get over this way, and we are now in Moss Deep City, the place marker thing didn't show up because I already went there and I have to go back and replace my super repel. There's a big pearl there, uh, let's see, uh, I'm pretty sure we do have hidden items, so might as well put this on anyway. So yeah, in the demo we were around here and we were walking around meeting gym leaders, probably saw like Flannery and stuff, so you'd know what to expect from the demo. That's like part zero of this let's play, so go watch it if you didn't. And it's a little bit of fun, it was. <laughs> I'm just walking around all willy-nilly with this item finder. Around Moss Deep, you can find Wilmer. It's called, uh, what is it? Wait, wait, wait. Wilmer watching! He had to think about it for a second up in his noggin. He's a skinny person. <laughs> just barge right in and sit at her chair. My brother says he's going to find the biggest secret base. Little boys found big things. Some items make things bigger, solid boards and stairs. So yeah, you can do stuff like that, but I'm not really going to do too much from a secret base here. Um, it's not as much of important stuff. But yeah, we talk to this kid and say yes, he'll give you a king's drop. Maybe he'll even give it to you anyway if you say no. I don't know. But this house right here is of interest. Let's go over here. Collection of rare rocks and stones assembled by Steven. Yes, indeed. This is Steven's house. There's plenty of stuff. Oh, yeah. Green shifts from charged stone cave in the Unova region. Plenty of weird things to pronounce. Hornblind biotite granite from rock tunnel in the Kanto region. No. Schalstein from Mount Coronet in the Sinnoh region. Got a stonewall Jackson here, and there's a hidden star piece. Lost Deep City, our slogan, cherished Pokemon. Of course, gotta cherish Pokemon. Let's go to the Pokemark, because, as usual, there will be TMs to find. I don't know exactly who to talk to, I'm pretty sure it's like, to a girl or something, maybe. It's you, because it's always the person out the corner. Hey you, quick question, do you want a TM? Uh, 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 sure, why not? And she just gives it right to us, like, please just take it on my hands, TM60 Quash. It's a really weird move. I don't even remember exactly what it does, but I don't really care. I'm just here for all the TMs. 
Alright, while in the TM, I sell my rare items like Star Piece, Two Nuggets, and my Big Pearl. And I'm pretty sure this house is of interest quite as well. When I was young, I traveled the world as a secret base expert, even now that I'm coming- Oh geez, here my passion has not waned. I've been waiting patiently for a secret base to appear just beyond that door. Yeah, it's kind of a thing. If you scan special QR codes, you can go outside and go to like a sort of secret base of Pokemon executives like uh, Junichi Masada, Morimoto, and people like that. Sailor Dude! I for my might and Lily Cove that the Herd of Wilmer has disappeared. Well, obviously, they had to disappear for me to be able to continue on to this place and stuff. Yes, like a very short line here. Wise words from my old man, Netball. House at the very east corner. Plenty of Hex Maniac sisters in here. It feels so negative, get it? Because of the mining here. Tippy toes, toppy toes, sneaking up on poker toes. Every gym badge tells the story of a hard one victory against a worthy opponent. It'll tell you stuff about your gym badges. What do you want to hear stories about? Okay, stone badge. Trico, Taylor, and your Zizigun. Okay. Yeah, but he just tells you what Pokemon you use during the gym battle, I guess. Walk up these stairs, and ooh, mysterious white rock! This rock has a special meaning to the people of the space center. They put it there as a wish for the rockets to fly safely. When you make a wish, what do you see? Do you wish upon a star? Doesn't matter who you are, going far with your life. I don't know the words to this song, but yeah. People used to think that it was connected to ways to go to space and battle Diosis or Jirachi. Such weirdos they are. Hey, it's a Fisherman. Super Rod is really super. Yes, I do want a Super Rod. Thank you for giving me a Super Rod, Mr. Fisherman. Equip Item Finder. Head down this way. It's like the little runway or the little path to... If you go over this way, you can come and see the launch pad for the rocket. And there's a rocket equipped there. And go all this way. We got a hidden iron. Let's go up these stairs by the sister's house. That's the way into the space station. Hidden item up here? No, it doesn't seem to be the case. Wouldn't it be nice if this island, no, the whole world was burgeoning with nature? Yeah. Alright, this house right here, we got a battle girl and a battle dude, or whatever. Except I like you as much, or a little bit more than Pokeballs. This guy a little bit more significance than RSE, but not as much here. Before I forget, I owe a shout out to a friend of mine. Greek Gamer, I'll put a link as an annotation and in the description, so you can go check him out if you want to see some Call of Duty or GTA. He also lives by me, so uh, there's potential for local stuff in the future. Some people claim that Pokemon came from space. Could it be true? Yes, it could be true, like Clefairy, Clefable, and Cleffa, and <laughs> the whole evolutionary line. Rendezvous with the sky. Ah, Space Center is so nice. It's just like the place as a museum and for the uh, rocket launching. Alright, Sunstone right there, and that covers all five visible items in Moss Deep City. I'm pretty sure I've only gotten two hidden items, but hidden items aren't really as high priority as, you know, TMs, Mega Stones, and stuff that we're getting. The rocket was launched safely. This just will not run. Launch number 31. A giant chunk of metal bursts through the sky and flies in space. It boggles my mind. Mind bogglers. That is the stuff in the place. Let's go around and look at all this science going on. I love me some science. Must have as many clear days and its wind patterns are stable. That's why it's an ideal location for launching rockets into space. Yeah. Man, just look at how scientific that looks. Nobody's there. It's like NASA and the launch control stuff. My dad puts in carpet in rooms like this. <coughs> so, saw the third hidden item that I couldn't find. That's pretty much all the items that we can get in Moss Deep City besides from the ones that are like scriptedly given to you. So let's go into the Pokemon Gym. Yo, how's it going champ to be T2? The gym leaders here use Psychic type Pokemon. If you go up against them with fighting or poison type Pokemon, they'll do horrible damage to your Pokemon. They come to you with outstanding combination attacks. You want to win, you need to show them how tight you are with your Pokemon. Go for it. How many times can you say Pokemon in one go? Let's ride the waves, dude. But yeah, it's gym leaders that we're fighting, so it's gonna be a double battle. Battles hinge on the strength of your spirit. The weak spirited will never win. Preston! I lost, I must temper my spirit again. How this gym works is that once you defeat trainers, you'll go over to these little stone looking things and you can make the other waves appear and you can do however you need to do with all this stuff. 
So let's then ride the dotty waves all the way over to this next trainer. I can get enough of the way you go floating up softly in this gym. Ha, oh, you kept going and crashed, ha ha. Josh, you fought the battle of Pokemon, Pokemon. Illumination time, changing the path of stuff. I'm trying to balance all of my team members out at level 42. Guess who's getting pretty close, and I'm just gonna switch around and do however I need to. Foo foo foo, watch me levitate a Pokeball telekinetically. Roar! Sometimes I'm out of sync. Perfect, level 42. My Pokemon balance skills are out of sync too. Guys are bad. Stone of Wonder, Stone of Light, I gotta sing random songs for all these stones that I do stuff with. Uh, it's just the girl trainer down this way. I'm from Alpire. Taste the power my Pokemon and I have attained in the place where spirits of Pokemon slumber. Kendra, one letter off from Kingdra, but then you'd be a Queendra. Wow, 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 I don't know if we could have chosen the path I... Took, but uh who cares I'm getting an ominous feeling about you Patricia I knew I would lose you're a bad omen next up we got a stone see I'm telling you I'm just singing all these songs okay what do we got going on I want to take this it's probably gonna take me back to the start of the place no it's not it's gonna take me over here I've already fought you but this might be made in such a way that we can ride it all the way up to the gym leaders. Let's get ready to battle them. Which one will I talk to? Uh, 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 any I'm talking to you. Uh, it doesn't matter who we talk to because it's just gonna teleport us back that way anyway. 2v1. That's a little bit unfair, but at least I can send out two of my own Pokemon. But then again, it's still unfair because I have to, like, call out commands for two. Heh <laughs> were you surprised? Tee hee hee, were you surprised? That there are two gym leaders. We're twins. I'm not gonna do a voiceover thing for that. We don't need to talk because we can each tell what the other is thinking. All in our minds. This combination of ours. Can you beat it? I'm sure I can because you are two very laughably easy gym leaders, Liza and Tate. Let's go. They're going to be sending out the two Lunar and Solar Pokemon. Lunatone and Soul Rock. It's the only two Pokemon they have. And I'm going to be sending out Omega Spirit and Strain. As I said, this is a laughably easy gym battle. If you chose Swampert, you can just like use Surf on it and they're both down like that. And I have uh, super effective moves from both sides here, but I'll kind of play around with it, I guess. I'll use Shadow Punch on Lunatone, but then as for Strain, I'm going to go Schwink, yes, you know that Schwink sound. And then I'm going to use Iron Head on Soul Rock. The Agronite is reacting! It's time for Strain to Mega Evolve. Yeah, just look at that tankiness going on right there. Alright, it's gonna use Solar Beam, but it doesn't have a sunny day going on, so we don't need to worry about it going ahead and going. They're probably gonna focus their attacks on Omega Spirit because Mega Aggron's ability is going to be Filter, so any super effective moves would be kind of dwindled down a bit, even though they don't really have any super effective moves. Unless they have like Earthquake, which doesn't really make sense. Shadow Punch on Lunatone. Alright, not fully taken down. I'll play with it. I'll just use Will-O-Wisp and Shadow Claw. So many ghost type moves going on. Yeah. My mouth is filling up sal with saliva. I'm getting so excited about this easy gym battle. Doesn't take too long, but Lunatone goes down as well. Earning us gym badge number seven. You defeated leaders Liza and Tate. Our, our teamwork. Not a bad battle though. It can't be helped. You've won! So take this in recognition. Yay, it's a heart badge with like a pink and yellow gradient. It could be for gay pride, but that's more like the rainbow badge that Erica gives you. The mind badge has the power to make all Pokemon up to level 80, including those you've received from other people, obey you. It also enables Pokemon to use the HM move called Dive. And take this too. TMO4 Calm Mind. 
This is a pretty good move, of course we're gonna explain it. Comes from relaxing your mind and concentrating. Special attack and special defense will be heightened by this move. It's perfect for psychic type Pokemon. Looks like the bond between you and your Pokemon is far stronger than the bond we share as twins. We will go on from here to form even more bonds. That's the future I see in you. There may be a harsh ordeal ahead for you and your Pokemon, but that's alright. You and your Pokemon aren't alone. You have each other. That's why I want you to face whatever troubles may come your way head on in full courage. You guys talk very fast. <laughs> I guess if I was using a Grumpig on my team, which I planned to some time ago, I would have given it Calm Mind, but I might use Grumpig elsewhere. Now that we're done with this gym, we'll step on this special tile and teleport away and walk out of the gym. And then there's something strange going on. What's going on? What? A p pillar of light! A beard from the sea! That direction! Is that the direction of Route 128? Whoa, dude! Seriously, dude! <sighs> this is the end of the world! Skitty, don't worry, calm down! Skitty! Whoa, that was like a total shocker. What the heck was that? That big fat pillar of light. It totally came out of here, didn't it? It sure did. Steven! T2! I heard from little Liza and Tate that you visited their gym. I was thinking of trying to catch you while you were in the area, but then this happened. We should talk. Let's go to my place. Let's. This is kind of a problem. Ah, yes. I suppose I should welcome you to my home. Please forgive the rather sparse decor. I've already seen it. Now, where to begin? Let us take a moment to understand what is happening to our world right now. That rumbling that shook the earth just now. The eardrum rupturing explosion we heard. They are proof that a seal, which was long hidden deep under sea, has been undone at last. The super ancient Pokemon has been sealed deep beneath Route 128 since ancient times. It slept until now in the Seafloor Cavern. The entrance to that cavern was sealed by the power of a certain Pokemon, all in an effort to keep any human or Pokemon from ever breaching it. But now it appears that the scheming of that terrible team has undone the seal. There is no doubt that they intend to revive the super ancient Pokemon. And once they do so, it seems they hope to make its power their own. It's not the seal that evolves to Dugong, is it? T2. If that team obtains the power of the super ancient Pokemon, it will upset the balance of nature in this world. A crisis unlike any other before it will befall every living thing on this planet. I plan to do everything in my power to quell the situation. That is my duty. But there is a limit to what I can do with my power alone. That is why I am asking for your help. I have great faith in your abilities. Lend me your strength to help put a halt to these teams' mad ambitions. With you and I and our Pokemon all working together, we will overcome this disastrous turn of events. I don't think it is out of the question. I will entrust you with this. HMO7 Dive. So now we have that. If you use Dive, you will be able to dive to the ocean floor with your Pokemon. And take this so you can stay with your Pokemon even in the depths of the ocean. Devon Scuba Gear. Great, great. If we were to use Dive in the correct stretch of water along Route 128, I believe you should be able to reach the entrance to the C4 cavern. I will join you when I finish my duties. Please do what you can to stop Team Aqua and Team Magma until then. I am trusting you to do this for me. Thank you for entrusting me, Steven. So until next time on Pokemon Mega Ruby, where we see how Team Magma and Team Aqua are going forth with their plans, don't tell us yourself.